baseball has been built on moments. If it stays there, it's gone. Home run. The Red Sox win. Milestones. There goes the ground ball. Base hit. Number 3,000. Yastrzemski's got it. And memories. Little soft pop-up. Petroselli will take it. He does. The ball game is over. A key stolen base. The throw. The tag. Safe. A record-setting home run. A new Red Sox single-season record for home runs. A final out of the World Series. The Red Sox are world champions. Every player to reach the big leagues has a story. I never thought I was going to be a pitcher. It's just a dream come true. No matter how many games he has played. I think just getting there would mean the world. We'll share two of them on this edition of the Red Sox Report. In December, the Red Sox signed all-star closer Kenley Jansen to shore up the back end of their bullpen. Got him, swing and strike three, series all tied up, one apiece. His career started in 2004 with the Dodgers as an undrafted free agent from Curacao. Originally a catcher, Jansen had an unlikely path to the big leagues. Throw down there is in time, oh my goodness. Right on the money from his knees. After playing behind the plate for several minor league seasons, he moved to the mound and quickly rose through the ranks. And he strikes out Pagan, first hitter he's faced in the major leagues on three pitches. The big righty made his major league debut in 2010 and became the Dodgers' full-time closer in 2012. Swing at him as he struck him out! Over the next 11 seasons, Jansen solidified himself as one of the best relievers in baseball with 391 saves. When he joined the Red Sox, he neared a milestone achieved by just six others who came before him, 400 saves. Throws, swings and misses, Kenley Jansen with three strikeouts. And after a hot start in Boston, he closed in on that achievement in early May. Hey, Kenley Jansen here. Come and take a ride with me. Going to the beautiful park, family. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I feel great. I feel definitely great. It's exciting to go to the ballpark every day, especially the team that we have. You know, the group the guys that we have, how hard we work, you know, how encouraged we are to just bring this team back to the top. Um, you know, can, can ask better for that. These guys make it so easy for me to connect with them. All my bullpen guys to you know, Chris Sale. Chris Sale is the one and like hit me up right away when I signed and you know and tell me about a lot of great things about Boston. You know, even former teammates, Rich Hill text me, Nathan Evaldi text me, you know, tell me that you're gonna love there. So it's a great chemistry team and having my you know my one of my best teammates ever, JT, here back with me. We're playing with teammates again. That's definitely, you know, definitely make it even more fun to be here also too. It's great, man. I mean, for me, play here as a visitor side, I, I always thought that was very excited. But um, now that I'm wearing the Red Sox uniform, it, it is, it's, it's awesome. It's amazing. And um, I love it, man. I just want to, I just want to be here, you know, that's, that's the place I want to be. It's a city of success, man, and we want to continue that, and I want to be a part of it, and that's why I'm going to, you know, make sure, always remind myself about those things, and it's just not a pressure, it's just a motivation to push forward, you know, for, for the best. I never thought I was going to be a pitcher. It's just a dream come true, like, you know, like I always thought that I might have a chance to play in the big leagues as a catcher, but you know, couldn't hit consistently. And here I am. I'm not gonna try to like look so much to it, like as a milestone, this and that. It's just another, you know, another goal that you accomplish. You know, how 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 much more can you reach? You know, always try to reach till when you can't. You know, so I'm definitely gonna enjoy it when it comes, but you know. Let that be a bigger motivation for you to keep, continue for the best. Kieran, 
you know, he's definitely keeps saying, um, Papa, I'm gonna be better than you. I'm gonna play in big stage. Caden also know, you know, that's the oldest one, that, you know, dad is a professional player. Also, my, my, my older daughter, Natalia, you know, she, she definitely knows. So they, they know, they know, they know, and that's the thing, they, they're watching, you know, like my two son, even my, my one-year-old daughter, you know, when I'm pitching, she go to the TV, mom saying, and start clapping her hands. And so those are things that motivate you a lot and, and bring that joy for you to just continue to go, you know, like continue to go um, as far as you can. This game can get you. It can be very stressful if you don't take care of it. For me, that mentally I have to get myself ready for even my preparation. Everything that I do, we play 162 games, so it's easy to be like, I don't want to do anything today. And, you know, I'm constantly telling myself, we got to go through all those little stuff to be at your best to perform out there. To be honest with you, game mode, like really, really game mode, like I enjoy my, my process. I enjoy coming in here, do all my preparation. And when the game comes, you just let it come, you know, let it come. Don't, don't be too, you know, hesitant about it. Think about it too much about it. It's just let it come and when it comes, you know, once I walked, walked in, going to the bullpen, you know, I started to get more locked in, but I think, yeah, once seven inning hit, I'm telling you, like, I'm, I'm totally locked in. I stopped talking to all my teammates in the bullpen. I love them, but yeah. So yeah, seven inning comes, you know, I'll be the most quiet guy in the bullpen. Yeah, Boston fans, we're here. Fanway Park it is, so. Yes, we're here. Yeah, sure, I will sign that for you. There you go. You were waiting for him. Yeah. I was Stuck waiting. the last hour waiting for you. You was waiting for me? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. You were up here or anything? Since I love... Appreciate it, can we? I love how you hit. You do a I don't hit, I pitch. He's a closer. Well, well, you do a great job. I do a great job? Well, tell, tell to the fans. Tell to the... So all the he's like amazing. Yeah. Now, what we say? Go what? Let's go. The Red Sox. All right. <laughs> Thank you. The Red Sox didn't need Jansen that night with an 11-5 win over the Blue Jays. He and his teammates then hit the road for an interleague road trip. As the Red Sox faced the Phillies in Philadelphia, Kenley Jansen sat on 397 career saves, three shy of becoming just the seventh in Major League history to reach 400. We head to the bottom of the ninth inning. Kenley Jansen will take over on the mounds. High fastball, cut out of missed. And one out here in the ninth inning. He went around. River strikes out. Runners go. Swung on and foul tip, and the ball game is over. Kenley Jansen is able to get out of the trouble and career save number 398. Game two. We got the Phillies and the Red Sox battling here at Citizens Bank Park. Jansen trying to make it back to back in this series, trying to make it 399 for his regular season big league career. Got Schwarber again for a second straight night. Trey Turner lifts one to left, angling over his Tapia into the corner, two away, back up the middle, off the mound, to the shortstop Hernandez, save number 399 for Kenley Jansen in his big league career. Kenley Jansen is on to try to close things out. He's going for his 400th career save. If he gets it, he'll be just the seventh in Major League Baseball history to reach that mark. Murphy out to center, shallow center, but it hangs up long enough for Duran. Center field, Duran over a little bit. And the Braves down to their final out here. And he swings and misses, ball game over. Boston 
League wins, and for Kenley Jansen, he becomes the seventh Major League player ever to hit 400 career saves. Man, the adrenaline was to the roof. I don't want to sound corny, but it's just, it was, that day was, it was locked. It was, nothing could have happened. It was locked in and let's get this thing done. It's like nobody have a shot because it's just, your adrenaline is so to the roof and you're so locked in and you see another part of yourself. And it was, it was unbelievable. It's not a lot of people who got to 400. I'm the seventh one got to 400 save and man it's, it's it's surreal it was surreal so it still is it means a lot man to see how much everybody cares and it's nothing special to have justin and kike there with me again those are the guys that you know, like JT saw from 100 to 200, 300, now to 400, and same thing with Kike, he saw from 200, 300, 400. It's unbelievable, unbelievable having those two guys. Those two guys was huge part of my career as a Dodgers also. You know, we know what we built over there and accomplished what we accomplished. And here they are, you know, playing behind me that day, and then also present that nice ceremony that they have in the clubhouse special moment uh everyone in here i'm sure you know by now uh that was kenley's 400 save a lot of people were very proud of you and we put together a little video and we want to show it to you first so if you want to grab a seat papa congratulations on your 400 saves congratulations kelly you did it congratulations with your 400 saves Huge congratulations, man. What an accomplishment, what a milestone, 400 saves. Very thankful to have been your teammate for a lot of those saves. I want to just congratulate you on being a member of the 400 Club. Growing up, loving baseball, being a huge Braves fan, it can't be better, just do it here. As much as I want to do it in Fenway, it's just a dream come true, man. I mean. Like you say, Andrew Jones opened up the door for all of us. Hit that two home in the World Series. Here I am standing, you know, enjoying my dream. It's been a lot, man. JT, Kike, all those guys experienced my up, my downs, you know, people doubting me. And I, I keep fighting, man. I keep throwing punches. And here I am today getting 400 saves, man. It's a blessing. So I'm honored to be enjoying it here with all you guys. Such a great group, man. And, that's accomplished more great things this year. That's all I can say. I think in 2021, my last year as a Dodger, I think that year I see how my year was going and I pick it up again and everything is going smooth. Um, by the end of the year when I got, you know, 38 safe I think I have, that was my 350. That's when it starts to get interesting. You know, hey, you know, I can get to 400. And now being with Boston, ain't nothing better, man. Nothing better to get it in this uniform. I can tell you that right now. Definitely wanted to get it in Fenway. Like you say, man, it's just meant to be to happen in Atlanta. A thing that I've grown up watching and it happened there. So, you know, a day that I'll never forget. Red Sox pitching prospect Chris Murphy began the year with hopes of making his Major League debut sometime during the 2023 season. I was drafted by the Red Sox in 2019 in the sixth round. It honestly caught me super off guard. It was probably the one team that I hadn't really heard from during the draft. So it was it was a very cool experience. My whole family is a bunch of Yankee fans, so it went over very well. I didn't tell them who was picking me. I just said I, I was going to get drafted, and you guys will find out when it, when it happened. So my dad was pretty salty about that one, but he's pretty happy about it now. The coaching staff has instilled in me that uh, getting to the big leagues is definitely a good possibility in my future. So it's just being confident, remaining confident, and knowing that it'll all, all happen in my own time. From the windup, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, he did it! 
Chris Murphy, an immaculate fourth inning, nine pitches, and he strikes out the side. I don't like to lose. Whether it's golf or chess or baseball, I don't like to lose. Losing happens, but I, I hate it more than anything. That's what drives me to be where I am today, and that's that's what I want to do for, for these fans. Like I, I want to win baseball games. I can't wait to see how electric Fenway Park is when, when you win a game. The moment had been on his mind for years because of a special person who inspired him along the way. So I made a promise to my older sister, Jessica. Call her a sister. She was my babysitter for me and my little sister growing up. When I was 14 years old, she passed away from rhabdomyosarcoma. And throughout my Little League days before she was diagnosed and even during her fight, she was in the dugout. My dad was coaching. She was in the dugout as like a team mom. She's here for, she's pretty much a sister to everybody on the team. And uh, she was somebody special. Never showed that she was hurting or struggling. She continued her fight every day and never backed down. I still think she, she won her fight at the end of the day. But I did promise her that she would have tickets in my first major league game. I think just getting there is what would mean the world. So it's something I hold on to dearly. It's the reason I play baseball. There, there have been moments where I could say I, I was done throughout high school or college where maybe didn't have the drive anymore or wanted to do other things. But just holding that promise to her made me find a spark. Again, love this game every single day. I just can't take it for granted when you get to this level. Like, this is amazing and I know that I'm gonna be crying the second I get that, that call. I'm crying right now. So it's one of those, uh, it's, it's in the back of my head every day. Everything I've done working up to this point, whether it's getting hurt or working hard or skipping, skipping things in high school, whether it's like a, a junior prom or a senior day or something like that just to play baseball, it, it all, it's all coming to fruition that there was, this was all for a reason. And whether it's my, my dreams, which it is my dreams as well, but having somebody else to share that dream with and making her family and my family proud would, would mean the world. In June, with the Red Sox on the road in Cleveland, Chris finally got the call to the big leagues. In early June, as the Red Sox played the Guardians in Cleveland, the team needed reinforcements in the bullpen. The help came in the form of 25-year-old prospect Chris Murphy, who was excited to share his first major league experience with his family. I'll tell you what, it was it was a great birthday present, ecstatic to be here. It's the Boston Red Sox, so I can't can't be anything more than thrilled at this point. 60 feet, 6 inches, no matter when I start or when I get on that mound, so it really just is the flip of a switch, and it, pitching is pitching. Um, I'm pretty confident wherever I am in the, in the spot, or whether it's in the rotation or in the bullpen, so pretty confident in there as well. First person I called is my mom. I think she started crying on the phone. She wouldn't say it, but I, I think I think she was. Um, she got on the first flight out here, so decided to set it for her to watch. Now Murphy about to make his debut. He'll be taking on one of the hottest hitters in big league baseball right now, Josh Naylor. Red Sox sixth round pick in 2019. And gonna get a look at him making his debut. Rocket it up the middle, scooped up by Kike, and he gets the out to get out of the inning. Chris Murphy's Major League debut continues. Josh Bell to bat from the right side. Your two is swung on and missed, and there's the first Major League strikeout of Chris Murphy's career. And that a boy, one down. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss, he struck him out a slider. Two strikeouts in the sixth for Chris Murphy. Swing and a miss, he struck him out, and Murphy has been three in his big league debut. Boy. This is an impressive Major League debut by Murphy. Swing and a miss, he struck him out of fastball, and Chris Murphy has four strikeouts. Let it go, kid! Yeah. Three in the third scoreless innings in the books for Murphy in his debut. So much work goes into getting onto a Major League field. It's not in your wildest dreams. Would you imagine that in a June night you'd be sitting in the stands in Cleveland watching your son on a major league mound wearing a Red Sox jersey. Honestly, uh, blacked out a little bit. I tried to take in the first few seconds, um, but I had a runner on base and I didn't, that, that was my first focus. And then kind of told myself I'll take it in right after I'm done. Jessica's mom was there. She's never watched me play baseball, at least from 
as far as I can remember. She maybe watched, watched me play in Little League, but she hasn't watched me play in a long time. So it was special that she was there. It was, I knew it was gonna be emotional. I tried to compartmentalize that. Um, but definitely one of those moments where I felt Jessica out there. After a successful debut, Murphy was optioned back to Worcester, but the rookie has a bright future ahead of him. To commemorate his 400th career save, Kenley Jansen was presented several gifts, including a one-of-a-kind pair of sneakers. I got a custom pair of sneakers that I'm working on for Kenley Jansen in order to celebrate and commemorate 400 saves, which is a pretty big feat. And so uh, we, we wanted to put something together as an organization to give to him. It was really cool seeing all the teammates and stuff give him a gift, so we wanted to do something as well for him to commemorate that and show how much he means to the organization. Just give him something cool. And so the concept is history unlocked. We just kind of wanted to give him like a royal feel, a royal treatment, but then keep it Red Sox oriented. And then uh, it's going to be all about all about the details and and have some little Easter eggs in there for him to, to discover. And so we'll have like his first, the date of his first save, the date of his 400th save. Um, we're gonna have his number on here, which I know is really important to him. And then uh, just some really cool, really cool type and really cool designs on here. So the colors, I went with like a deep burgundy. So it's still like red in blue and red and navy are colors, but the burgundy is a little more like elevated, I feel. Um, and so the details and stuff are gonna be a little more muted and then we're gonna have the nice gold um, history unlocked and 400 saves on the back, which is gonna stand out. Um, and then the details are pretty much secondary. <laughs> what up, man? Ryan, let's do it all right. How's it going? Oh my god! Let me put these down. Man, concept, history unlocked. Yeah. We got your number on there. We got dates. Yeah. And then we got the actual. We got some chains on there. Make it a little literal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> only the best. Man. Only the best. And then of course oh on the back, god. 400 yeah. saves. So yeah. That's nice. The least we could do. Oh man! You like them? I ain't gonna wear these. Huh? I'm not wearing. Well, that's why I got. That's why I got the box for you, just in case you oh, didn't want to wear them. That's, no, that's awesome. That's awesome. Man. Absolutely. Hope we can get 500 here in Boston. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hard work, pain, dedication, and for you to just, you know, have, have your inspiration. Absolutely. Yeah, man, I feel like I inspire you to this. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, Congratulations again, man. Appreciate it. It's really Thank nice so to much. meet you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. On behalf of the Red Sox, we got some gifts for you. Here's the lineup cards from today. I hope you kept that ball. <laughs> um, yes, we can throw that 200 out. <laughs> and then we know how much of a music lover you are, so we got you a special 400 save. Oh, bass yeah. guitar. and everybody cutting us up, we know where we want to go. So let's get it together. Come on.